In this video, I will show you how to apply dynamic conditional formatting. So, in this example, we have here a payroll data set. And I have four sets of examples. One for text data, second for date data, third for number data, and one for text that contains using conditional format. Now, to start with text data, let's say my objective is to highlight all admin transaction in this column. However, I want to highlight as well all the information of that employee under admin department. In order to select those data set, let me copy a department header to any blank cell available. Under that, let me type admin. Now, I will use the value of G7 to identify the record that I want to highlight. So in order to simplify the data of G7 in my formula, let me implement knee manager. By selecting G7, going to name box, let me name this as DEPT and press enter. DEPT is an acronym or abbreviation for the department column. And lastly, we need to implement conditional format. Let me highlight B7 to H26. You go to Home tab and then click Conditional Format. From here, you can simply click on New Rule. Under New Rule, we can customize the rule using a formula by selecting the last option available. Here you can type in the format of the formula. Basically, the rule inside this text box is for us to return a value of true or false. If true, then Excel will format our table. If false, Excel will not do any formatting at all. Now, in this example, I want to format based on the value of the text admin. So let me simply type equal value and then click on E7. Why E7? Because E7 contains the admin department. One more note before we continue, make sure that you always remove the dollar sign on the row level. I will remove the dollar sign before seven because I want to implement the formula from row seven up to row 26. Now, if you're done with that, you type equal and type DEPT. The EPT is the knee manager that we created earlier. So what do we mean by this formula? If E7 to E26 contains any value of admin, then you can select a format for that. Let's use fill, select any color, and click OK. If true, then Excel will format the cells using this fill color. If not, then nothing will happen. Now, if you want to implement that, click OK button. As you can see, Excel highlighted all the admin departments. And by the way, this is dynamic. For example, if I change this to training, press Enter, Excel will highlight all training. Let's say sales. Excel will highlight all sales department. For R&D, we do have it. And lastly, for accounting, Excel will also highlight those data. Let me go back to admin, for example. And that's how we can implement conditional format for text data. Now, let me continue. Let's start with date example this time. How about if I want to highlight the same data set based on date employee column? The scenario here is that I need to highlight all 1995 transactions, or maybe I want to highlight all 1996 transactions. Let's do the same method, copy date employed. I need two date employed this time. The first date employed will reflect on the start date of my report, January 1, 1995. The second date employed is December 31, 1995, which is the end date. 
Before we start with the formula, let us click J7, name this as SD for a start date. Let's click on K7, let's name this as ED for end date. So I have SD, I have ED. Now we can start with the formula by highlighting again B7 to H26. You go to conditional formatting, new rule. And under new rule, you go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now for the format and formula, since we are dealing with two conditions, we can actually use a logical conjunction using and or or function. And means both condition must be true at the same time or either of the condition must be true. In this case, we want both condition start date and end date to be true so that we can format the data. Now, for the formula, you can simply type in equal A and D. That's, that means end start date is G7. All right. Remove the dollar sign for 7 to implement the formula from G7 to G26. If this is greater than or equal to the value of SD, which is the start date, comma, if G7 also is less than or equal to the value of ED. SD and ED, remember, we named the value of G7 and K7 so that we can simplify them in the formula later on. We're done with this formula. You go to format, select one, color, click OK. As you can see, Excel will highlight all batch 1995. If I change the date to 1996, Excel will highlight all batch 1996. Let's go in between. For example, let's highlight all second quarter of 1995. So my starting date is April 1, 1995. And my end date is June 30, 1995. So you can see Excel will simply highlight all data between second quarter of 1995. One more note here, make sure that before you implement dates in the formulas, you must use the format of your device. I'm using month, day, and year. If not, then it will not work properly. Next, another example that I would like to show you is to implement conditional form formatting formula inside a number data. Now, in this example, let me combine two criteria, one for text and one for number. And here's the scenario. Let me copy department header and starting salary. And let us change some values here so that we can make this more clear. This is low value and this is high value. For the department, let me type admin. This is 5,000, this is 6,000. Now what's my objective? I want to highlight all admin data between five to 6,000 salary. How do we do that? Let's name this table one more time. Let's start with J7. This is DP, short for department. K7, this is LV for low value. And last is L7, this is HV, press enter. So we have three names here now, DP, LV, HV. Application of this formula, let me highlight B7 to H26. And then I go to, name, to home tab rather, conditional formatting. And then let's go to new rule. Since we are dealing with three conditions, let us move to use a formula and still we will be implementing end function. So type in equal end, open parenthesis. For the first condition, let's click on the department E7, remove dollar sign on seven, if this is equal to DP, which is the department in J7. 
comma. For the next condition, let's deal with the low value starting salary. If the value of H7, remove dollar sign on 7, is greater than or equal to LV, comma, if the value of H7, again, is less than or equal to HV. All right, so we have three sets of conditions. The first set is for the department column, comma. The second set is for the low value, comma. The third set is for the high value. We need this to identify who among the admin department employees has the salary between five to 6,000. So to finish this, let me apply basic format using fill color and light blue color, click OK. And click OK one more time. Excel will highlight all admin department with a salary between five to 6,000. If we update this now to, let's say, training, change the value from 4,000 low value to 6,000 high value, as you can see, Excel will highlight your data based on training department and based on salary between 4,000 to 6,000. All right, by the way, text are not case sensitive. So even if you type small letter for the training, the formula will work properly. Okay, the last thing that I would like to share with you here is the application of text that contains condition. Again, with the use of conditional format. In this example, let me use designation. And copy and paste that on any blank cell. And here's what we need to do. I want to highlight all employees with a keyword manager on designation. So before we start, let me name this now as DSG and implement the formula. Highlight B6 to H, B7 to H26. Go back to home tab, conditional format, new rule. Now for the rule and formula, let me type here equal search. What do we mean by equal search function? Equal search function is used if you want to find specific character in your text data. Right. However, the final return value of search is a number. Number, which means the location of the data that you want to select. Right. Or the position. Okay. Position of your data in your text value. Now, for the search function, let's say we want to look into the value of, let's say, DSG. All right, do we have manager or DSG in cell F7? Again, removing dollar sign on 7 so that we can implement the formula from row 7 to row 26. So as we can see, we have here search DSG, that's value of J7, and then F7 for the criteria. That's from F7 to F26. However, the return value of this will not display true or false, which is the requirement for the conditional format. Now, in order to return the value of search as a true or false entity, let me type after equal value, the formula is number. Is number open parenthesis and then closed parenthesis. That means any data between that is number function will only uh, return only true or false value. If that's either a number, that's true. Or if that's not a number, that's false. That's what technically the requirement of this formatting tool. The last thing that we need to do, go to format and implement a color code for the fill. Now, let me click OK button to check on this one. As you can see, Excel will highlight all items with manager. 
or any keyword that you will type in the designation. Okay, for example, the keyword is um, accountant. Okay, let me try this one. All right, so we, we only have one accountant here. All right, uh, let's say clerk. I want to highlight all clerk. Excel will highlight all the clerk. Okay, and this is how we can implement conditional formatting dynamically with formulas in different data types. We have one for text, we have one for date, we have one for number, and the last example is for the text that contain condition. Anytime you want to remove conditional format, just highlight the area of your table, go back to home tab, conditional formatting, you can click on the clear rules from selected cells or clear rules from entire sheet. If you want to modify the format, you can simply click on the manage rules and go back to your formula. If you need to debug or you can go back to format if you want to change the color of the highlighter. All right, and that's it on how we can implement conditional formatting dynamically in our Excel spreadsheet.